using images as your background. Once you have clicked New Prezi and clicked Create a Blank Prezi, this canvas will appear. I want to get rid of this frame, so I'm going to click on the edge, and then I'm going to click Delete. Now I have a blank canvas to start from the very beginning. To insert an image, I'm going to go Insert Images. I can either type a word in here in search and it will search Google Images and then you double click on the image and it will insert it into your Prezi or you can go to select files and you can actually click on the image that you have already saved in your pictures or your documents wherever you have it saved and click open. Prezi will then insert that image into your Prezi just like it would any other image. But to use it as a background, you want to enlarge this picture big enough so that in presentation mode, it pretty much covers the whole background. And then you will add all of your frames and diagrams, images, videos, and so on, on to, into this image. So um, I want to make sure that this image is is in the path so that it goes to it the very first time you click on present. So to make this image part of the path, I'm going to move my mouse right to the edge where you see that light blue line. I'm going to right click and click add to path. Now you see when you go to present, this is the first thing it's going to show you. If you click home, it's the first thing that it is going to show you. I'm going to hit escape and now I can begin working on inserting images, pictures, and so on. You also see what is going to be um, shown right here by this line. So I can kind of move my picture down and over and if you look here it's going to show me what is going to be um, shown when I hit that home button. I can always click on it and enlarge it. Sometimes you have to go to the home button and hit the minus sign so you see the whole image. Now I can increase it, go back to my home, and now you can see what's going to show. At this point, I can now begin adding um, frames, whether they're a bracket, a circle, invisible frame, I can draw my arrows, my lines, I can insert images, symbols, diagrams right onto this frame. I can also click the add button and I can choose frames that already have spots for titles and pictures and so on. So if I like this one, I can double click and then it's going to add it to my picture and it automatically adds it to the frame or to the path. Then I can begin to move this around and begin to click in here, adding my captions. I can click to replace the pictures um, and so on. But the most important thing is that you get the picture set where you want to and then everything that you insert, you insert on top of the image.